serious was that? Hey YouTube world, it's your boy Giovanni and I'm here to talk about my Lakers. But in particular, I think you know who I'm ready to talk about. The legend himself, Kobe Bean Bryant, my favorite player. And I'm sorry, I didn't grow up watching Jordan. I mean, yes, I've seen clips, I've seen some games on YouTube. He's an incredible player. He might be the greatest player of all time. But Kobe is my greatest player of all time. I grew up watching his greatness. I've seen him mature as a man. He is the reason why I even love basketball today. If it wasn't for this guy, I would probably still be 100% into baseball, which I still like it, but he's the reason. I grew up watching Kobe. Around the time, around like 10 or 11 years old, I mean, I was a little kid, I didn't know anything about basketball, but you know, I loved his style of play. He was relentless. I mean, the dude would dunk, he would shoot over people, he would just do everything, and I'm just like, what the heck is going on right now? This guy is everywhere, he's making shots behind the backboard. I mean, he's laying it up when, when it shouldn't even be laid up, and he'll go in, I'm like, what the hell are you doing, Kobe? But it is so beautiful. And it just made me a fan. I remember one story with my, with my dad. And uh, it was when they were in the Western Conference Finals uh, against the Sacramento Kings. And it was that, that famous shot that Ori made, you know, from the three. And, you know, I was so nervous because Sacramento was giving them all they, all they can handle. And right when Ori made that three, and, and he made it, and I was like, I, and I wanted to scream, I was like, yeah! And I stopped, I stopped myself just right there because my dad, he hated the Lakers back in the day. I mean, he likes them now, he says that, but he hated them because I know because as soon as he made the shot, he was so pissed off. It was hilarious. I had just had to keep my mouth shut because I didn't know what the hell was gonna happen if I would've just yelled out the full word. <laughs> but just things like that. Just, that's what made me a fan, those those games. Obviously, Kobe didn't make that shot, but just those moments in Laker history is what made me a Laker fan. And Kobe, just doing what he did, made me a Kobe fan. And I will always be a Laker for life, but I'll always be a Kobe Bryant fan for life. I mean, look at his accolades. Right when he got in the league, I mean, he's the youngest ever slam dunk champion. I mean, he was 18 years old when he did that. How about the youngest all-star at 19? Uh, do you understand that that's, that doesn't even make sense? I mean, there's dudes, veterans, who put their bodies on the line, who, who hustle to try to get stats, and this dude barely comes in the league and starts over you? I mean, it's, it just doesn't make sense. But that just goes to show you how great Kobe was and how he still is, maybe not in his prime, but He's still just a walking legend. It's, it's insane. All right, so Kobe won three finals in a row with Shaq, and they looked on top of the world. They were going to do this every year. Yeah. Well, no, it didn't happen. I mean, they went to the finals one more time. They got spanked by Detroit. They signed uh, Gary Payton and Karl Malone on the team that year. They got to the finals, but they just bumped, head all, uh, bumped heads all year. It just didn't work. And Shaq left, and everybody else left. That was, you know, a big key to that finals appearance. And Kobe was left alone, and that wasn't even the most disappointing part. The most disappointing part for me was the whole Colorado incident, the, the rape allegation. And, and he didn't rape the girl, you know, it, it, it was proven he didn't rape her and she was, yes, he, it doesn't, still doesn't make it right. He still cheated, he still, you know, did his dirt. And as a fan, as a young fan who, who loved Kobe Bryant, who loved the Lakers, you know, he was the reason why I loved the Lakers. It was disappointing and it made me feel stupid. It made me hate him. It made me hate Kobe. I hated him because I loved him so much as a player. He was the reason why I got into basketball. He was the only thing I talked about in basketball. And for him to do that 
it just felt stupid to be a fan. You ever you ever have somebody you look up to or a few people you look up to and they do something so dumb or something so outrageous or something that you just don't condone and it just makes you feel stupid that you were following them in the first place. And that, that's how I felt. In ninth grade, it was, I was in ninth grade, I remember that. But as a true fan, you know, I was, I was gonna stick with him. I was, I was gonna stick with him. And, and he, did, he did what I thought he would do. Ironically, he did something about it, but uh, the ironic part is that he didn't say anything about it. Yeah, he apologized, but he, he let his game do the talking on the court. Yeah, he didn't have much of a team to get back to the promised land just yet, but he just needed to play his game. Do what he does best. Get in the gym, work hard, shoot a hundred shots every 30 minutes or so at five in the morning until whatever time he got out of the gym. That was his game. And then ball out, score, get his team back to the pinnacle and he, he, he tried. I mean, from 05 to 07, those seasons, those two seasons, he led this uh, league in scoring. And in 05 and 06, my boy scored 35 a game. He scored 35 a game. That was his average. And not only that, that is the highest uh, points per game total since Jordan did. I mean, that hasn't been done in a while, and it still hasn't been done, which is insane. I mean, even that year alone, he scored uh, 60 plus points against the Mavericks through three quarters. And guess what? That was more than the entire Dallas Mavericks team had through three quarters. And he sat on the bench for the rest of the game. He could have probably had another 80 point game. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You didn't know he had an 80 point game? Huh. He scored 81 points against the Toronto Raptors. 81 points, just let that sink in. His team obviously needed him the most. I mean, the, 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 they needed him all year. They had, I mean, Smush Parker and Chris Mim. I mean, that's all I have to say. If you know basketball, they, they're, uh, they're equivalent to, 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 to Shaq's. Thank you.